The thing with parabolic moves is that they can last longer than expected, but as Walter Diemer says, when they go up in a straight line, they typically go down in a straight line. So it's something that is hard yeah, from a trend basis. You don't remember 2000. Like, no, wait, no one in the studio, no one in the control room remembers 2000. That's why we're playing classic rock today. Don't play Journey today. You, you, a guy spit out his coffee yesterday when I played Journey. Cam Journey's a band from California. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Cam, I, I, I'm looking here, and, and Wally Deemer, of course, is a legend on this, but the answer is trees to the sky. 1999, 2000, without profit. This time around, I got free cash flow. That's a distinction. You do, but you always have to be aware of when stocks are running ahead of what the earnings estimates have been being revised higher themselves. So if you look at a name like NVIDIA, in prior reports, each time that they would report, the forward guidance would go up by 30 cents or 40 cents. This time, it's about <coughs> 5 cents. Is that the end of the world? No, but it does mean that we should probably lower our expectations for the pace of returns simply because the pace of earnings revisions higher or starting to slow. The issue would be if the stock keeps going up, even as earnings slow down and the revisions higher, that's when you get the trees growing to the sky, the issues with valuations being far too stretched. At this point in the earnings season, are we talking too much or focusing too much on tech? Um, what else is sort of drawing your attention, or what, what is tech distracting us from? I apologize. It's such a Brooklyn question. <laughs> Curious. Only you know, people from let's Brooklyn. Let's go Luddite. Let's question. go old school. What, what other <laughs> sector? But see, I, I speak that language. So I think that the interesting thing about this earnings season is the reaction of the stocks in the backdrop, is that we've seen some of this weakness in tech start to build. Tech traded below its 50-day moving average yesterday. It's been deteriorating on a relative basis. What's been winning? The 493 the equal weight index. So if we look at earnings estimates going into 2025, what you can see is the MAG7 is expected to decelerate a lot, but the overall market is right. expected to accelerate, which effectively says the 493 is about to have to carry all of that weight in the earnings growth.